Hi everyone and peace be upon you. Recalling the previous module, I hope you have understood what are the four human thinking components that we wish to mimic using machine capabilities. In this module, I am going to share the first three tasks need to be carried out before we can actually code an intelligent program. It is packaged as a knowledge acquisition and representation. There are three steps. There is knowledge acquisition, which are carried out mainly uh, from the expert domain. And then we have to represent the knowledge. And this is carried out by the knowledge engineer. And lastly, the knowledge that has been represented has to be validated by the knowledge expert. So the knowledge engineer has to sit with the expert to validate their representation. Okay. To acquire a knowledge or to extract knowledge, there are a few steps. We have natural techniques, contrived techniques, and modeling techniques. We will look uh, more detail on the natural techniques. We have interviews, uh, we have observation techniques, we have group meetings, as well as uh, questionnaires. Okay, how about interviews? Interviews can be in many forms. It could be face-to-face, group-to-group, online or offline, surveys, shadowing, or practicing together. I believe all of us have at least experienced few times of interviews. Maybe we can we have be the interviewers or the interviewees. The interview can be one-to-one -one or in groups. And nowadays, we can also have an online interviews. How about shadowing? Shadowing usually when we have to see how people practice their works. Uh, this is commonly in medical whereby a junior doctor will follow or shadows their peers or their seniors and uh, just to see how they apply their theory into the practice. So wherever their peers go, they will follow and see and ask if needed. And the third one is to practicing together. So this is basically done by the interviewers uh, who sit together with the expert and work together, for example, look at the images to see how uh, the expert interpret the images. Okay, that's, uh, that's just an example. Okay, let's look at an example uh, of a corporate data. Um, okay. If we have to acquire or extract knowledge from a corporate or a company, we can interview the top people in the company. So we need to understand the natural language. Okay. And uh, in this uh, uh, process, the challenge is actually uh, we need to be able uh, to extract the meaning of a sentence from our experts. We need to be able to extract the key points or the hidden gems. We also need to know the body language as, the, as it can be a support or evidence or an added value to our knowledge. Then, can we categorize the knowledge? Can we put them into or can we label them uh, into a several parameters? We also need to compare the document or compare the answers from these people to see if they agree on certain certain things what are the percentage of the agreement and what are the conflicting things? Okay, next example uh, in medical. Okay, this is an image of a MRI scan of a brain, and on the right hand side is a report from a radiologist. So we can have this uh, information, we don't have to interview the doctors, but we can just take the images and also the report of the images and try to understand this. Try to classify this information, which information belong to which parameters. Okay, so you can see that there are a few uh, terms which are aliens to us. Uh, and there are also a mix of uh, natural sentence. Um, so we need to represent this into a language that uh, the expert and also the knowledge engineers understand. And then represent it back into a machine okay the next uh, example is on uh, web uh, how do they categorize uh, words 
Okay, this is actually a photo. Okay, and the uh, auto tag is carried out by Cortona. Okay, whereby they just count the frequency of wording in uh, a caption. Okay, so the top 10 are in reds. So these images, this image uh, is related to Assyrian, Russian attacks. Okay. Alright, so I will continue with the second part of uh, knowledge presentation uh, on our second video lecture. Thank you.